back to my channel. I hope you're all good. I'm obviously well and look what we have here. I finally removed my <laughs> So, um, if you didn't know, this is now the third episode on this segment, Ankle Ligament Reconstruction. It's a surgery I underwent recently and I first started telling you guys all about the surgery itself, my experience in the hospital and spending the night. And the second episode was the post-op experience. Just, you know, everything I went through following the surgery itself, four weeks in a cast. And here we are on episode three. I have gotten my cast removed. So I just wanted to share that whole thing with you guys, like how it actually gets cut off and what it looks like underneath. So check it out. Wow, jeez. Right, how cool is that? Oh my goodness, like I've had that experience before, like I said to you in my previous episode. Um, I actually fractured my right ankle when I was young, and so I know what it feels like to get a cast removed, but that was so many years ago. And when the surgeon was like going on with the saw, I'm telling you guys, there were so many moments that I was just flinching, feeling like he was about to cut me. Like, and I know he wouldn't cut me, but he just gets so close and it just feels, you can feel the vibration, obviously, as you can see in that video, he's just going at it and, and cutting and cutting. And the layers are basically, there's like a sock layer that they put on your foot first, then they wrap it in kind of like a cushion. And then on that goes that plaster material, you know, when they first put it on, it's a bit wet and it's soft. They obviously wrap your foot, wrap it and wrap it, and then it gets dry and hard. As we all know, a cast is quite hard. So, as he's cutting through those layers, I'm sure he can feel it, you know, with the, the saw as well. So I just, it, there were so many moments where <laughs> that, that, that saw felt like it was about to touch my skin. So it was such an insane feeling. I was like so nervous and my surgeon even said, oh, he's like, oh, you didn't, you didn't trust me. You thought I was going to cut you. And I, was like, I mean, I know you weren't going to cut me, but it just felt like you were getting so close. But anyways, now I'm about to show you what it looks like underneath the cast. And um, I just thought I'd give that little heads up of what it will look like. So what they did in this surgery, there was one incision on the left side of my foot and that's exactly where I needed the reconstructive um, repair. So that's where they did the surgery itself on the left side. So there'll be the incision and it's got stitches and all that kind of stuff. And then on top of my foot, there are two little holes there, like two stitches as well, two sections of stitches. And what they did was um, they had a camera as well going in just to, you know, check that everything was done, that all the damaged ligaments were removed, that the scar tissue was cleared out. So there's also like two holes at the top. And yeah, they also wrote all over my foot and, and my, my surgeon explained that those lines basically 
were them kind of highlighting major arteries so that they wouldn't cut them. And something I learned, which I didn't know, is um, when they do surgery, they're able to do it without like any blood like messing up the place. You know, you just think you're getting cut open and it's going to be messy, it'll be blood everywhere. But how they did was to make sure that it was as clean as possible. They avoid veins and arteries and all these things that cause a mess. Uh, just to keep the, the, the actual procedure as clean as possible. Yeah. How cool, right? So I just want to give that heads up. I mean, I was a little bit like, oh, you know, I, I didn't know what was, you know, going on under there. And the crazy thing is when I fractured my ankle, I mean, it's bone. So there was nothing going on outside of um, my skin. You know, it was just the inside. So when my cast came off, it was just my foot. But in this instance, I think I forgot what happened under there in terms of they actually cut me open. So I didn't know what to expect. And for any sensitive viewers, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty sensitive viewer myself. I mean, a lot of people just, you know, tell me I'm being a bit extra, but just giving you a heads up, you're gonna see the incision itself, some, some stitches, and it looks all kind of funny. So anyways, check it out. Oh, wow, jeez. I didn't even know what it was looking like under here. <laughs> Right, so goodness gracious, I mean for me, seeing my foot like that was an absolute mind trip guys, you know, as I said in the previous episode, um, while I was actually like googling and, and trying to understand exactly what you know what took place in my foot um, ligament reconstruction it just means that now after they cut out a few and repaired a few and all the things that they did you lose the use of your foot so when my surgeon just took my foot out of the cast and rested it on the table guys I couldn't move it at all like it, it just it just stood there and it was the biggest mind trip I was just like trying to do something maybe wiggle my toes not a single like twitch nothing it just didn't move and it was a solid mess like this and what's more is it was so rigid you know your foot like dangles you know what I mean like you can like move it up and down it was stuck in one position and I think that that was the craziest thing and um what's worse is to get this moon boot on as you can see my foot was in kind of like a, a comfortable 130 degrees i'd say my surgeon just went and shoved my foot in to a 90 degree angle into this moon boot guys it was so sore oh my word and he just went for it you know just pushed my foot right in so painful so that was the worst part of this whole experience at first i was like oh yeah you know the cast is all that didn't hurt and then he did that and then i was just like ow mm, so 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 from here guys i mean this is exactly what the next stage of this whole process is now that i'm in a moon boot it's about uh, starting physiotherapy as i said i've completely lost the use of my foot it doesn't move it, it, it's so rigid so what physio was going to do is help to regain the flexibility the movement in my forwards and eventually just get me back to normal you know being able to actually like use the full mobility of my ankle again so hey this is me and um my surgeon said that for him should be in a movie for about like four weeks or so um so yeah this is it and we'll see how it goes i mean i'm still in a lot of pain like i said um leading up to having to take the cast off I really was actually quite worried so as much as I was eager to get it off because I was starting to get uncomfortable what with all the swelling and just yeah I'll just go watch the previous episode but now um, I was also quite worried about taking the cast off because it, it I could feel that I'm still in quite a lot of pain I can't use my foot still and I can't put pressure on it at all you know that was one thing that was made clear to me is you can't put any weight on it so I can't stand on it I can't do anything so I'm still using crutches and um, uh, it's, it's still exhausting, obviously. Um, but hey, this is the next stage of the journey. And I guess let's see how physio goes. I'm looking forward to doing physio. I'm actually just looking forward to getting back to normal. So I guess I'll leave it here, guys. And I guess next time I'll touch base, update you. And hopefully by then I'll have much, much more progress. So.
So cheers for now, guys. Like, subscribe, share the content, and I'll see you next time. Bye.